fascinate him because he's a beast. He's a beast. Jin that you could cut him and he wouldn't bleed. Welcome back, fight fans. Today we introduce another name to our Big Hitters series. The features where we analyze some of the biggest punchers to grace the sweet science of boxing. Yeah, he's he's saying, he's I've taken it. enough. He wants the top. Not just boxing. That's called power boxing. A man who, beating his Ukrainian counterpart, upholds a perfect knockout ratio on his demolition path towards unification. He has been beaten down by better be If you enjoy our content, press thumbs up and hit the notifications bell to help us out as we look at another of the modern era's most fearsome fighters. This is a boxer to watch. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. One punch ends the fight. Our turn better be a... Better be a drink. A smooth-moving Ukrainian coming off the dominant Stevenson victory versus Baterbiev, an aggressive Russian who knocked out every opponent towards the popularity he craves and deserves. Right now has to be considered Upholding his perfect KO ratio, moving towards unification, he now stands as one of the sport's most daunting figures. Volchtik made it clear to me, at least, through his body language and muted responses, that he didn't believe that he'd had enough, that his spirit was broken. Growing up in central Dagestan, Artur was introduced to combat sports at around 11 years old. He excelled at wrestling and boxing, and by 15 possessing all the essential qualities, he was already fighting at international level. However, around that time, his life was flipped upside down by the loss of his father a true make-or-break moment for the young Russian prospect. Though spurred on by his brother, who would later become his trainer, he persevered to become Russian champion in 2007, beating Sergei Kovalev. It was from amateur. Yeah, from amateur. from the amateur. Yeah, I won the fight like about the victory gave to him. Mm -hmm. He's man. He can punch, he's strong. Um, he's beaten Kovalev twice in the amateur. He's, he's, he's dangerous. Very I see him beating Kovalev. Incredibly, within another five years, he'd won a world championship gold, two European golds, and was quarter finalist in the 2012 Olympics. Factors that, alongside a glimmering 295 to 5 amateur record, made him simply unmissable as he switched to the well-suited professional game in the summer of 2013. Appearing tonight in his first professional bout, the participant of the Jeux Olympiques de Beijing and de Londres. Combat, Daniel. Stand du premier round, he s'est fait frapper solidement, donc vraiment ça l'a, ça l'a découragé. Professionnel, c'est. His initial rampage went just as expected, putting away his first five opponents inside four rounds within a year. Five victories has never been beyond four rounds. To finish 2014, he knocked out former Canadian world champion Tavoris Cloud in devastating fashion. And surely Cloud cannot last too much longer. He's trapped in the corner, taking punches. He's trying to throw back, but to no avail, and he goes down again. This time flat on his stomach. And Tavoris Cloud is down and out. Artur Baturbiev has got his sixth professional win. Before also stopping his first unbeaten opponent, Jeff Page Jr., to see out the year. Wanted him to work the body, now going on the attack and scoring with those shots to the head. Page tasting the power of Better Biev, and there he goes down for the third time in the round. The referee waves off the fight. However, with his success came difficulties. Following advice, he parted ways with his manager at the time, Anna Riva. Though the person who offered the advice, French-Canadian promoter Ivan Mikkel, would eventually worsen Baterbiev's complications two years later. This guy's got over 300 amateur fights. He's come up in the, in the, in the Soviet system. Like, like, 
he's a lot better skillfully than what people give him credit for, and he's going to be a hard guy to beat. I said to the Chicago Commission that I think we need to see whether he just runs some tests to see if he's actually human. However, despite ongoing proceedings, the 32-year-old was offered a glimmer of hope in late 2017. Hope that came in the form of a vacant IBF world title shot against tough 26 guys. Because Peterbiev, he kind of looks like a sort of guy who could who could almost take you out with any punch with yeah. either hand. You know, my star went a few times and that's by far the worst thing I've ever experienced in life. I've been hit by a car once. I was young, and that's how I feel like sparring with him. Like, I'm just being honest. Like. This guy's strong, better be a... I mean, Campillo was literally just trying to survive and, and go some rounds before starting his game plan, and he couldn't even do that. This guy is so hard. Ten months on, Beterbiev's career finally began to straighten out. Beterbiev is called the beast for a reason. After signing to top rank, his next big test came in Chicago against undefeated Brit Callum Johnson. You know, I know it's a big ask and it's, uh, you know, it's a tough task. But I, I'm very confident in my own ability and I believe on my day I can, I can beat anybody, so why not? Johnson! In a fight that was expected to be razor close, the opening rounds lived up to expectation, with both fighters exchanging knockdowns. Find out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he drops him. Oh, goes down. Oh, stuttering. And he's wobbled. Though where Johnson chose to fire single shots, the counterpunching and heavy handedness of Beterbiev was simply too much. Oh, Johnson goes down a right hand. This is a grazing right hand. Three! Johnson Four. melts in front of him. Ah. It happens that fast. He has that type of power. His punches are that short. You barely see it, and Johnson goes out. We knew it was going to be one of them fights. We knew it was uh, a very dangerous fight, and maybe it's a fight I could have done with in two or three more fights' time. But yes, I can unify it, fight everything. It's my work, it's my job. I'm hard, man. He's strong. But he hits extremely hard. He doesn't even have to hit you clean. He can graze you and you can have problems. But he's also an underrated boxer. Last May, Artur came up against Kalajic, a slick fighter with just one split loss on his record to Marcus Brown. 13 knockouts against Kalajic. <gasps> Left hook. Huh. Instead of coming out with a jab, he just came right at him. He chases no, no, him no, back, nearly put him through the ropes. Where the Bosnian came to box, landing some slick combinations on the inside, in similar fashion to Johnson, Beterbiev's sneakiness slowly drew him into a firefight. Back and forth they go, short right hand from the chip, and Kalajic is hurt! And looking to be on his way out at the end of the third, it was just a matter of time. And this fight is over, Beterbiev retains his title with a fifth round TKO. I'm not too about pounds against a guy like that, but a guy like Beterbiev? I don't think so. He, I, I, I don't think Sinella wants that. That's pain. By October, the closed dick fight was perfect. The undefeated WBC light heavyweight champion of the world. But Beterbia refuses to back down, and this fight is over. Archer Beterbia. And so pulling off the most impressive victory of his career, the light heavyweight icon now stands firm as the division's most prominent figure. You know, he's just rugged. And, and, and was the better fighter tonight, clearly. The last three fights with his career back on track have proven Beterbiev as a special, elite-level talent. We've seen his ability to change levels, fight on the inside, and apply unwavering pressure. Also, in Wilder-esque fashion, we've seen him invite opponents in with short, lazy jabs followed up by bone-crunching right hand. That's a danger zone. If you're hot rod, there is the right hand that was able to get around the guard of that left. And whilst he doesn't have a long list of potential opponents, what he does have, much like Usyk, is a pathway to become undisputed. And we have some targets, you know. When I... First target, second target, and another one became soon, I think so. He now prepares for a somewhat anticlimactic mandatory fight against Fan Long Meng of China. Though despite a size advantage, there is little to suggest that the unbeaten Chinese fighter will offer much in terms of resistance. Heavyweight champion Fan Long, Cold Blood Meng. 
Something must be in the water out in Dagestan. Khabib now represents the UFC's ultimate ground game, whereas Baterbiev brings that same freakish strength and resilience to the world of boxing. All he can do is continue knocking down what's in front of him. But with time working against him, now 35 years old, the Russian will be on a seek and destroy mission to make the biggest showdowns, beat the toughest opponents, and to become the sport's most devastating, undisputed icon. Who do you want to fight next? Doesn't matter. Anyone. Anyone. I'm focused for title, not for name, you know? Just some good old boys. Avoiding the harm. You never had to ask, been wearing our masks since day number one. Flattening the curve while paying the bills. Someday old age might get them, but COVID never will. We're making our way the only way we know how by putting up our dukes in a Motivedia presentation.